that's right. It's gonna be a okay. Not ideal, but just just a okay, just dandy. Talking about. I don't know if you could see it or not. That. Right. Right where the U bolt needs to go. I think it'll be alright though. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. Run it. I'm gonna ride it all night long. I hate your Rascal Flats. Rascal Flats can pound dirt in his teeth. For some reason, I picture Rascal Flats as one guy. His name's Rascal Flats. And it's like, oh, there's old Rascal Flats over there. Screw that guy. Get, get bent. We're gonna get this. I'm never gonna get it. You're never gonna get it. You're never gonna get it. Oh, I got it. Okay, that's gonna work. I don't know what I was worried about. Well, <laughs> what's the torque specs on them? Seven, 17 turns, one turn, this guy, all of them, all of them. forget how it goes together. How does this work? Is this... Uh... Little clip on there. Just wanted to get this all off so I could scuff it up and paint it. Makes sense, okay, I get it, I kinda get it. So this is like a magnet. You press the brakes, it sticks to this guy. Once it does that, it pulls this lever, and it makes the brakes go out. Genius. 
Well, that would make sense to me anyway. Uh, but it's not moving. I don't think it's. I don't think it's moving. I think it's supposed to though. I do. What is this? Let's take this right off. See how it works now? It's stuck. <clears throat> yeah, these need to be taken apart and cleaned up. At least this one moves. The other one didn't even move. Alright, here we go. worked good. Sliced. I think I need a new. I'm gonna sit. Working good. Wow. She is seized on there. Quite well. Every time I think it's coming off, it's just bending the... <sighs> Ow. Wow. Hit it. 
don't think it's any good anymore. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to salvage this piece. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. But I need this piece. I got an idea. So I gotta get the bearings and hardware and stuff out of these hubs. One, to see if they're even good or not. Two, so I can turn these at work. Get them turned anyway. Because they're not very good shape right now. Seal. I ain't gonna ruin that. Here's my seal puller right here. See how that works. Probably not. It's not even moving. Let me regroup here. Got myself right in the finger. Oh man. Oh man. Next time you go to Harbor Freight. Get a set of these, the bolstered ones. It's like 12 bucks or something for a set of these. I'll, these are my favorite type with the thing. My favorite type of screwdriver right here. Cause you can always, I don't really use my screwdrivers for screwdrivers. I use, use them for chisels.
and you, and you can put a wrench on that. It's just, that was, I thought it was a great deal. And, I mean, that's really my first time using it. And it didn't break, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. I can see I got Pittsburgh lifetime warranty on that. I probably would never, even if I did break it, I wouldn't bring it back. i just buy more. a video and I set them up right but this these should return and they're not so I think it's because of the paint and I didn't clean it off I'm gonna do it on this one hopefully it makes a difference if not a good way to fix sticky brakes is just uh, don't use the brakes. But anyway, these are right. Except the fact that they don't retract. I'm hoping that uh, once I put it on, it just cleans everything up and, and works magically. That's usually what I rely on is magic when I do stuff myself. marker lights and I want marker lights I need to be able to have marker lights on my trailer because I want to have them on there so I gotta go back to town and get them I really didn't want to go back to town and get them but I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna have to there ain't no going about it I'm gonna have to go back to town and get some marker lights God damn it. I don't know. I gotta go play with my meat.
Ow! Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Booge. Never heard of no booge. Heard that word bougie. And I don't think, I don't know what it means, but I don't think it's a good thing. Booge. Some of that booge. Oh, it seems like it's pretty good quality stuff. I think this was like 30 bucks. Little grommet thingies. Cover, of course. Uh, well. ones go to which. So I'll do that next time I get the chance. Hi. Just a wine ass. Wine ass dog. And I was looking at where I put these lights. I know the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back into something and rip that thing right off. But until then, that's where they're going to be. Pretty rugged standard on that, but uh, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Good. I think they all work. 
couple of running lights anyway. Let's try. Let's try some other ones. This one working? Nope. This one ain't working. Uh oh. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. It was just backwards. Oh, mm, take that. All right, try some blankies. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try the reverse now. Try the reverse. Try not to back into the trailer and knock it off the jack stand. They are working. Good news, good news. Wiring is all buttoned up. Pretty happy with the with how it come out. Pretty happy. No bad. Tell you what, these are not easy to get in. Don't use a hammer. You know, just smack it with your hand. And it will go in eventually. I actually did use a hammer on this one. And it cracked a little bit. Can't really see it though, so good enough. Awesome. I guess, I think I've got everything buttoned up for wire and wise. I don't think, uh, I think that's it. I'm sure I'll forget something, but I mean, it all worked. I guess, put the decking on and put the wheels on and that's it, pretty much. I do got some sticky, some cool reflective tape to put on. Do that last. Decking time. <laughs>